Flipping the carcass of the coop upside down, I placed the floor on top and placed a screw at each of the four corners, squaring it up as I went along. Drawing a line to each corner screw gives me a reference point for all the other screws. I'll have a closer look and more detail about how I measured the roof trusses on my website. You can check the description for that link. But basically I marked the center of the board, then measured an equal distance to each side from the center, then three quarters of an inch down from those two marks, and then from there draw a line from those marks to the corners on each side. If you didn't get that, don't worry, I didn't even understand it myself. Just check the website, I'll have an image with measurements on the blog post. Clamp the piece to the workstation and off with the jigsaw. No, you can't use the bandsaw. Okay, you can, but keep that just between you and me. If anyone asks, no, you can't. Use the first piece cut as a template for the second. Now that those are cut, I'll attach them to the chicken coop. I'm using construction adhesive here and then come back with two and a half inch screws. The roof slats are one by fours, cut the length on the miter saw. Match up the overhangs, some glue, and screws. I've switched to a silicone caulk between the roof slats. I made this base for the chicken coop to sit on. Doing this provides valuable shade from the midday heat and allows for more run space. The run itself can be attached and detached from the coop by way of these threaded inserts and thumb screws. I also built the run in three different pieces so it can be disassembled and taken with us when we move. Also, the doors are an inset design and I've attached a stop on the inside of the coop to keep the doors from being pushed in. The coop itself is small enough, it can fit in the back of our car and pull double duty as a transport carrier. If you'd like more information about this, such as a cut list and materials, or other DIY projects, you can visit me at simplyeasydiy.com. Until then.